church hallelujah yes i want to take this opportunity to welcome each and every one of us to the second service i know god has good plan for us amen uh, we are going to open our service with the reading from the book of psalm 23 from verse 1 psalm 23 from verse 1 the bible says the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name, name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for you are with me. You are rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. This is an encouraging word this morning for all of us, that the Lord is our shepherd. We shall not want. Why do we reach a point of wanting? Because we have left the shepherd. When we leave the shepherd behind, we will want. Amen? When we think of a shepherd, we remember or we think of sheep. In the old days, the shepherd was going ahead of the sheep so that he can direct them and lead them where there is pasture. And the sheep follow behind. But nowadays, what happens? The sheep, they lead, the shepherd follow. And it has even reached a time where the sheep no longer need a shepherd. They are just released, like here in Kware. Rongai. Kondo wa rongai hawalishwi na mchungaji yote. They are just released. They go and come back in the evening. Hallelujah. The shepherd remembers that he has a sheep when he wants to sell them. So let us not reach that point where we make our decision on our own. We do choices on our own. We think that we are so knowledgeable that we don't need God. We need God in every bit of our life. We need God in every small decision. In every step, as small as it is, we need God. Amen? We need him that he may guide him. Chochoto na chofanya, husisha mungu, ata kupika. When you are cooking, involve God. When you are dressing, involve God. When you are going out and you are coming in, involve God. And, you will, and when you do that consistently, for sure, I promise you, our lives will not be the same. Most of the time we regret the decisions we make because we have left the shepherd behind. Hallelujah. Let us be Christians and let us be believers who are with God hand in hand. Amen? Because we can do nothing without him. Amen. May the Lord bless us. Let us open with the word of prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, this morning, Lord, we are humbled before you, knowing that, Lord, you have good plans for us as our shepherd, O oh God. 
plants my father to lead us in green pastures and besides still waters, oh Lord. You are the one who restores our souls, oh Jehovah. Even when we are fainting, Jehovah God, when we are growing weary, Jehovah, you restore us, O King of all the glory. Thank you because you are the one who has promised that you will prepare a table before our enemies, O King of all the glory. My Father, even though we have passed through the shadow of the valley of death, Lord, throughout the week, Father, we shall not fear any evil because you are with us, O oh God. You have promised that your staff and your rod, my Father, they protect us, O oh Lord. That is the assurance we have in you, Jehovah. And my Father, that is the confidence we have in you. That, Lord, you have, you have promised to shepherd our lives. You have promised to shepherd our ways, O oh God. In the name of Jesus, you have promised, my Father, that you will lead us in the paths of righteousness. Help us, my Father, to put you in front of everything that we do, O oh God. To put you ahead of everything, O oh God. We enthrone you, our majesty, this morning, O oh God. We enthrone you, our Savior, this morning. Even in this service, we need you, Jehovah God. That my Father, goodness and mercy may follow us even in this service, O oh God. We need you, Jehovah, in each and every step. In the praises, in the worship, in intercession, Lord. Even on fearing your word, Jehovah God. We need you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Take charge. Touch each and every heart, O God, which has come into your house. Lord, help us to know your will and to do it in our lives. We bless you and we give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Come on, celebrate the Lord. His word, his word, his word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Thank Jesus. You, Jesus. Someone just take less Thank than a minute Jesus. to worship God. Thank you, Jesus. For behold, he says that he is the good Watch shepherd. You, and the Bible says that the, 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 the sheep Jesus. knows the voice of the shepherd. Jesus. And he says that when oh, you come to me, Jesus. I will lead you into greener Watch pastures. You, I will lead you into Watch beside you, quiet Jesus. waters. I, I will lead you to the place Lord. of abundance, yes, to the place Lord. of resting. Thank come you, on, someone, faithful. speak to Jesus. You Tell you Jesus, Jesus, that shepherd of my soul, I am here for you today. Lord, I'm ready to receive from you, shepherd of my soul. I welcome you to my life. I welcome you to my family. I welcome you into everything that concerns my life. Someone, 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 declare God. Establish Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. Praise Him. Give Him words of utterances. May the Holy Ghost give you words to worship Jesus. Thank you, my God. We thank you for my Father. Take take control, Lord, of the atmosphere, Lord, of this service today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, my God. May this place not be saturated by your spirit, by your power today. In the mighty name of Jesus. With your healing power, with your deliverance. Lord, my God, with signs and wonders today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we are ready for you. We are ready for you. We are ready for you. We are ready. For you. We are ready. For you. We are ready.
baba utawale Duniani na kuita Yesu baba tawale Karibu Yesu utawale Chukua mamlaka mali ya pa Bila wewe Yesu Hatuwezi chochote duniani na kuita Yesu utawale roho wa Mungu roho wa Mungu baba tawala baba roho wa Mungu roho wa Mungu father we give you glory call on you today we give you first priority jesus we give you lord Inuka, 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 inuka
receive all our worship, receive all our praises, Lord. There is none like you, Jesus. We honor you, Lord. We exalt your holy name. There is none like you, Jesus. You are awesome, God. You are exalted above all other names. Oh, mataifa yote ya nakuinamia mfamu wa wafamu. Makabila yote baba ya nakuinua. Makabila yote baba ya nakuabuli. Oh, we worship your working. There is none like you, Jesus. Oh, we worship your We give you all the glory, my Father. There is none like you, For you are mighty, for you are awesome. Someone just continue giving Jesus praise. Someone just You're continue so giving awesome. Jesus praise, exalt so Jesus. Mighty. May the Holy You're Spirit so give you utterances. God. Worship Him as the Holy Ghost give you utterances. Oh, For there is none like Him. He's holy, He's awesome, He's worthy, He's omnipotent, He's all powerful. His name is Jehovah Jireh. He's the creator of the heavens and the earth. Matoshek Brakete Levi, the good shepherd, the bride of life, that whoever eats of Him shall never know hunger. He is the fountains of living water. That whoever drinks of him shall never know hunger, shall never thirst, shall never hunger. We worship you, Jesus, today. We love you. We worship you, Jesus. We honor you, my God. We give you praises, my Father. For you are awesome. You are awesome. You are awesome, my God. And you reign, my Father. Matose prakita libra kose leva ya talaka Sheba kasete le grupa pasala Nina sante le grapa lata Sheko saprate le kaya Jesus we worship you Lord we worship you Jesus For you are mighty Lord For you reign in majesty there is none like you are Jehovah tonight. You are perfect in every way. You are glorious, oh God. Le prasikete le payata. Angels bow before your presence. For the clouds are there by the dust of your feet. Your name is Yahweh. Jehovah tonight. You reign, you reign in power and majesty. You reign forevermore. You reign, you reign in power and majesty. You reign forevermore. Jesus, you reign. You reign. You reign. In power and majesty. Oh, you reign. You reign forever. You reign. You reign. You reign. Ancient of days, you reign. In power and majesty. You reign. Il paragos de prakata la baba Lord you reign you reign The angels stand before your presence you reign In power and majesty Holy Ghost you reign you reign In your wisdom you reign Li prakos de prakata la baba Jehovah you reign you reign Mano se prakata la baba Santa ya la raga da 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 with the scepter of worship, man, you reign, we you reign. Jesus, you reign, you reign, you reign. You've broken the gods of the wicked. Righteousness and power belongs to you. With the anointing, you've broken the chains of oppression. Lord, you reign. You reign, you reign. Matos the bracket and the bracket of the Lord. Jehovah is your name. You reign forevermore. What a wala, tuanguvu na uweza. What a 
wala milele wata wala wangu na uweza wata wala milele oh wata wala wata eko shapra ketele basata Somebody praise this Jesus. Praise this Jesus. Is it what a wala, what a wala, what a wala? Is it not the God that created the heavens and the earth? Is it not the one who says that come unto me and I'll give you rest? Is it not the one that I put the devil in his place? Is it not the creator of the heaven and the earth? Rebakasha katele vasitele watawala watawala o shabra ketele lala shabra ketele brakatele geste tayala ibaro goste brakatala ba 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 you are the god who reigns you reign in power you reign in majesty you reign in awesomeness you reign in glory matole brakasata ya o the tribe of the land of judah misa brakotele bakasha talala you give life with breath. Mina celebra katalagasha. Are you not the God who is hidden the foundations of the earth? Are you not the God that has made the wisdom of this world to foolishness? Are you not the God that reigns? Matele bakoshe kravada da 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 da. Shabra kasele brakata la la la. The Holy Ghost is giving you utterances. The Holy Ghost is giving you utterances. He's giving you words to worship Jesus, to glorify Jesus. To give praises, Rapa Katelega Shantalala. Something is happening. The atmosphere is shifting over you now. In the mighty name of Jesus, objects are moving. Obstacles are broken. Chains are broken now. Deliverance is happening. Healing is taking place. At the breath of God, Mateleba Kashaka Dalalala. Zebra Katelego Shelerera. What Rama Kastilera. Rama Katelego Satayalala. On Shapra Katelega Shata. Brighter than the sun. Majestic in wisdom, powerful in every way. Your name is Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. Shako se prakata la ba ba ba. Repa kasa ta la 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 la. Repa kote le ba ya ta la. Jesus, we worship you. We give you praises, Saka. The breath of life. Eternal one. Seated upon the throne of glory. You've broken that chain called Belial. We give you glory, Jesus. We give you the honor for your mighty. Brighter than the sun. Oh, beautiful. He's guided himself with power. He's clothed with righteousness. Before his throne proceeded forth fire. And there are seven spirits before him that rushed through the world. He's God. And beside him there is no other. Shaka pakata kata. Shepe sekete ligoraba. 
We give you all the glory. We worship you, O oh Lord. You are worthy to be praised. We give you all. Jesus, for you, for you, ancient of days, for you, Lord, we give you all, for you, he who sits upon the throne of glory, for you, for you, for you, you are Alpha. You are Alpha and Omega. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy to be. Oh, you are Alpha. Jehovah Shikenu. Jehovah Rapha. Ancient of day. Jehovah Lord Musa. You are Alpha, the one who closed the moon. At your word, life was game. Oh, we give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. All the glory. We worship you, Oh, oh, we give you all the glory, all the power, and all the honor. We worship you, the one who closed the door. We worship you, the one who closed the door. We worship you, the one who closed the door. We worship you, the one who closed the door. We give you all. You deserve all the honor, my God. You deserve all the glory. You deserve all the honor, my God. Who is man that you're mindful of him today? Jesus, you deserve all the honor, my God. You deserve all the glory, my Father. You deserve all the praises, of God. You are everlasting, Lord. You reign from everlasting to everlasting, my God. You are the home sufficient God. Your name is Jehovah Shaddai. Oh, you say I knew a caparata de cosa paya la 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 la. Fountains of living water, a bacas cheque de le paya la la. El abracote le bracas de le paya la 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 la. The one who molded the oceans, the one who molded the mountains. Le bracote le bracata. You alone are God, my Father. El shakata la bracos de le paya. El shakata. El talabacote. El namaste le bracata la 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 la. She goes the bracata la 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 la. Mama 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 mama. Reign in the heavens, oh God. Oh, shakata lava, oh katala baba, oh kateleka yata kapa, rekatala esabako, oh mama mama ida katala yesteketa libra kote madesa kaya na la baba baba. Oh shakata lava katele. For you, Jesus, you Jesus, who seated upon the throne of fire, who can dare stand against you, my God? Who can dare challenge you, my God? We give you the glory. We worship you, our Lord. You are worthy. We worship you, our Lord. You 
Spirit, thank you for your righteousness. Thank you because we've overcome. Thank you for you. Makasha Katalabra. Love of our life. <laughs> we love you. Jesus, we love you. In New Life Church, we love you. You are always welcome here. Anytime, any day, any moment, you need a people who loves you here. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for our families. We pray, my God, that today the devil has got no space, no place in our families. Yes. Thank you, my Father, for the healing and the spirit of reconciliation that is already at work right now. Yes. We thank you, my Father, because husband and wife will understand each other. Yes. Thank you, my Father, because, Lord, even as we had, pre 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 we had prayed for you, my God, our children, Lord, are protected from the schemes of the enemy, my Father. Yes. We thank you because they are going to prosper and grow to see. Oh God, greater days ahead. We love you, my Father, because Jesus, this generation that is coming, will be more fiery to God. They love yes. God more than we do. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, the people of the world will come to learn wisdom from them because they've got the wisdom of Christ. Yes. Father, Lord, concerning our nation, we just want to pray that let your will be done in Kenya. Yes. In the political arena of Kenya, may your will be done in the mighty name of Jesus. We renounce the devil and we rebuke him in the mighty name of Jesus. And again, we insist that no, 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 no perpetrator of wickedness, no one who will run the agendas of that Belial will sit upon the presidency seat or any other seat. It is time that the Russians men took over. Because Lord, your word says that when the Russians are in power, Oh, a people, the countries, nations, they thrive because the will of God comes with ease. Lord, concerning our church, we bless you for this fountain, this mountain of healing that you've given to us. Thank you because you've called us a people of Zion, my God. Lord, we love you forever. Forever, Lord, may you reign today. Jesus, I know that there are people, Lord, hurting my God. I know that there are people with lack. But my Father, according to your riches in glory, may it be given to them in the mighty name of Jesus. May we be supplied according to your abundance. For the Bible says that we are not of this world, though we are in this world. But our citizenship is of heaven. May the economy of heaven speak towards our life in the mighty name of Jesus. We, review, we revoke the economies of heaven to speak over us. We revoke now the economies of heaven, the currencies of heaven to speak over our life today. In the mighty name of Jesus. David says that I I was young and old, but I've never seen the rushes for a second. Today, how can we lack? Thank you, Lord. The Lord who supplies all our need. Are you not the shepherd who leads us beside quiet waters and greener pastures? Are you not the Lord God who creates and prepares a table before our enemies? We believe in that word. And we are not letting go of that word. Lord, we've left all so that you may become our wisdom and you become our prosperity. Jesus, we pray that you may continue, Lord, giving us the spirit of prayer and intercession yes. that will never give up. Yes. May we not rest, Lord, if we've not prayed. Yes. And I pray, my God, that may, we, may New Life Church not find peace until we all come to the place of intercession. Yes. Because that is the only way we can reign and rule, Lord, in yes. the world that you've given yes. to us. Father, Lord, we worship you and we love you. All that we've not interceded for, precious Holy Spirit, intercede for us. Yes. Jesus, intercede for us. Lord, we are ready to see what you must do. We bless you, my Father, for the ministry of the word. Your word, Lord, make it the simple wise, and my Father, it is life and it is health to the bones and the flesh of men. May it come with the healing power. And Lord, may we prosper, Lord, even in the land of the living. Yes. For it is in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray and we believe. Amen. Amen. And all the saints said, Amen. Celebrate Jesus. More. More. 
Ma. Ma. And we can do better than that. And now, let us put our hands together above our heads for the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Let us give him the glory he deserves. Lord, we thank you today. We declare your praises. We declare your glory. We declare your goodness. We declare, Father, you are wonderful. You are excellent in all your ways, Lord. Father, thank you. Receive all the glory for you have done wonders in our lives. You have preserved us. You have healed us. You have delivered us. You have met us at our point of need. You have touched our lives. We are never the same because of you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Amen. We may take our seats. The Lord bless you. Uh, welcome to our second service. We are blessed and honored to have you with us. And perhaps this is your first time to be with us. We welcome you to our church. Feel at Jesus' feet and receive the blessings of God together with us. And for the purpose of acknowledging you, you who has visited, I kindly request that you raise up your hand if this is your first time to be with us. Uh, this church loves visitors, and so we are honored to have you with us. Today we have a deacon coach who is going to share the word. There's a day we met somewhere and he shared a message that I was blessed. I was so much blessed. They requested him to prepare the same and uh, share with us today. And so I wish to allow him to come and uh, take over. Your microphone is here. Let us appreciate him. Karibu. Hallelujah. I thank the Lord this morning that he has enabled me to be here standing strong in good health. Praise God. Uh, we need to thank him because indeed without him there is nothing much we can do. Uh, even in this season, we caught quite a number of things that are not happening the way we were used to. You notice that the services are shorter than they were before. And... Uh, Maybe for the sake of our visitors, this has been my service. Second service has always been my service. But because of those changes, I have many times found myself in first service. My name is Sir Richard Koech. I'm born again. For the sake of time, uh, I want us to move quickly, open our Bibles, the book of John 17. Uh, we will read from verse number 20 to 26. This is a prayer that Jesus was making to us, after he had prayed for himself, he had prayed for his disciples, he did one for his followers. I pray for these followers, but I am also praying for all those who will believe in me because of their teaching. That's the teachings of the disciples. Verse 21. Father, I pray that they can be one, as you are in me and I in you. Praise God. We'll read the rest of the verses. I want to bring your attention to verse number 21, and before that, shall we commit it to God. Father, we thank you for your word this morning. We pray, dear Lord, that your spirit may explain, may expound to us, O oh God. We commit it to you, Jehovah Father, that we may have the mind of understanding and the hidden secret in this word, O King of Glory, may come to us, that we may put it into practice. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, so I say this is a prayer that Jesus made. And when he was praying, he had you and me in his mind. He was preparing for the cross. That's when he came to conclusion and he made a prayer. He has taught, he had taught his disciples how to do things, how to go about. He interacted, he sent them out to preach, and they brought results. Uh, when they came back and they realized people had come to Christ, he had believed that he's the one who was sent from God, then this is when he came back and now spoke to God about all the things that he had been doing because he knew he had completed the work he was sent to do. When he was through with the work he had done, 
Then this is when he made his prayer. He started by praying to himself when you go to verse number one of that chapter number 17. You realize that he prayed for himself first, talked to God, that he may receive the glory as he also receives the glory for the work that he has been sent to do on earth. So here he is now, and he is praying for the believers. The disciples have gone out, and his prayer was so specific. He didn't want to talk about so many things that we come and pray for God to provide for us this. He just prayed for one thing, that, and that is in verse number 21, depending on the passion. My version is saying that they can be one. So Jesus was praying that those who had believed him may be united. Uh, NIV uses the word united. So Jesus prayed that we might remain united. For reasons he knows. He did not speak to us that you be united. But this time around he was talking to his father that said, as I am with you, as you are with me, and for sure you've sent me, and the many things I've been able to do, I could not do it alone, but with you. So now, Father, may you enable them to be one. May you enable them to be united in everything they're doing, whatever things they're doing in their homes, in their families, in every situation. Let them be one. That was the prayer that Jesus made. And for sure he knew he had prepared himself fully. He had done all the assignments, having noticed what the disciples were doing. When the disciples started speaking to Jesus, uh, I might take you back uh, to chapter number 16. Let's go back a bit and see what Jesus noticed. So that he started now saying, I have done my work. I have done my part. And now, God, this is now what I want you to do. Help them remain united. Uh, verse number six, chapter number 16, I uh, will take you to verse number 29. If I may read it quickly downwards so that we can see how Jesus came to realize now what I've been sent to do is done. I now go back to my father and tell him it is done. Seal with a prayer, and he believes all the rest will be done. And that is, be united. Uh, verse number 29 says, of chapter number 16, Then the followers of Jesus said, You are speaking clearly to us now, and are not using stories that are hard to understand. We can see now that you know all things, you can answer a person's questions even before it is asked. This makes us believe you. This makes us believe you came from God. That's what the disciples were telling Jesus. Now, this is what Jesus answered. Jesus answered, so now you believe? He asked them that. Listen to me. A time is coming when you will be scattered, each to your own home. That time is now here. You will leave me alone, but I am never really alone because the Father is with me. Praise God. This is where we were the other time. And God was, Jesus was saying, may you help them remain united. Here now, he's telling the disciples, there's a time that, will, that is coming and you'll all be scattered to your homes. You leave me alone. And then he was quick to say, Listen, I'm not really alone because my father is with me. That's what he was so quick to know. So, to tell the disciples, and the disciples are here. Hmm? We are going. Jesus is telling us, you leave me alone. Then, he moves on to say, for sure, this is how the situation is. You are not leaving really me alone, but I am with my father. So, that is what... Uh, I want us to see today, and he's, as he was praying, he was really telling these disciples, I came, I did all these things, but I was not doing it alone. Because me and my father, we are one. We are united. We are tied together. And that is what he was driving and driving and praying that 
Those who have come to him, the disciples, even if, uh, when I am through with what I had been sent to do, they may remain united. When they remain united, for sure, there is something he has in his mind that is going to happen. And if they are scattered, if they are all Rome Rangers, it will be contrary to what he knows. Uh, the last verse of that chapter number 16 is saying, I told you these things so that you can have peace in me. In this world, you will have trouble. Other version said tribulations, but be brave. I have defeated the world. I have overcome the world. That's what Jesus was telling the disciples now. And then he move on now. We move to the next chapter where he was praying for himself, asking God, now I've done my part. May all the glory come back to you. As I also receive the glory from you because of the work that I have done. So I say it, uh, when Jesus was praying and making this prayer, he's so specific that uh, may these followers, may these believers who are believe that I came from you be united even when I am not here with them physically. He is going, he is leaving them to continue with the work. The disciples have been sent to preach. The disciples have been sent to teach. And many are coming to believe that indeed the words, the things they are teaching us are true. The, the, the Savior we are hearing from the disciples is true, that it came from the Father. And so then, that's why he went ahead and said, okay, all these things, all the things I'm teaching you, all the things I've shown you, now, as you go out, make sure you remain united. Make sure you remain one. And when you do that, be sure nothing is going to touch you. Nothing is going to defeat you. So the word itself is, be united. All along, as he prayed, be one. To the disciples, to the believers who came to Christ, who came to, to believe that Jesus is the one who was sent from God. And uh, for us, now that we are concentrating on that part of the believers, those who came to Christ, that is you and me, uh, is it easy for us to take it their start? Be united. Be together. Be one. And uh, I got to realize that it's not an easy thing for human beings to be one. Because we are so used to competition. We are so used to identifying our differences, identifying our weakness, identifying our strength. That is why we take children to school and we don't expect them to be number one, all of them, apart from the CBC. Yeah? I think that's where the difference is coming in now. But the system we have had to go through ourselves, we will always get number one to number last. These are human beings. We are used to being very inquisitive. Anytime we are told this, we say why. We are told to go about this, we say how. But here, Jesus is saying, be united. Be one. He has a very good reason and as we continue, for sure, I know as God speaks to us, let's just listen to that voice. Why was Jesus going to his father and saying, you've been with me, I've not been able to do these things alone, and so as I live, as I've done my work, may they be one. So as... Uh, I was saying it's not easy for human beings to be one, to be united, because we are used to being inquisitive, identifying our differences. So I say we go to school, we learn to be one, we want to win, and for sure if you win, someone else must be defeated so that you are declared the winner. But Jesus is saying, be one. Speak with one voice in all areas of your life, in all areas 
in our families, in our fellowships, in the church, in our home cells, and every other part. That is where Jesus is saying, remain united and speak with one voice. Praise God. Uh, our learned friends will always remain in God and say, we will demonstrate to you why this and this is happening. My senior learned say this, but I want to demonstrate that it is not that way or it is this way. Uh, Jesus actually was in that position demonstrating why we should be united. We should remain as one. Let's look at uh, same book, chapter number five. Uh, John 5, 19 and 20. This is where Jesus was demonstrating to the disciples that everything he did, he did not do it alone. And that is why he wants them, he wants his followers, he wants those who have come to believe that Jesus is the one who has been sent to also uh, remain united and work as a team and work as one. Because him, he declared that he did not do it alone and he cannot do it alone. Uh -huh. John 5, 19 and 20. But Jesus said, before this, there's a story before that, eh? I tell you the truth. The son can do nothing alone. The word here is alone. The other then was united. Eh? So the son can do nothing alone. The son does only what he sees the father doing. Because the son does whatever the father does. The father loves the son and shows the son all the things he himself does. So he himself, Jesus, and the Father will always work together. And he cannot do it alone without the Father. This is what he was now trying and demonstrating to the disciples. You see this? If you go trying to do it alone, you will fail. If you try to do it alone, you will not make it. So as he leaves, and he will not leave them for sure because he will send a helper, he will keep them there with a helper to assist them in all that they are doing, remain as one and work together. And he has gone back there to demonstrate and show them for sure. Without the father, he cannot do it alone. And he has proved that. And so, for us here, as believers, uh, see, Jesus is presenting us before his Father and praying for us. Why was he so concerned about the believers? Why was he so concerned about our unity as believers? Hmm? Believe, uh, and we'll see a certain scripture which uh, might not be very popular in some areas, but uh, it shows how there is power when we speak with one voice and united. So Jesus, this is the thing that Jesus was driving us to all along when he's saying, remain united, be one in all that you're doing. There is unity. Where there is unity, there is power. So unity is power, unity is strength. Nasio ile comrade power, ya streets, Unity is strength. That is all that Jesus was bringing as he says and presents us to go that we need to remain one. We need to remain united. So the concern that Jesus had about us so that we don't go out alone preaching, we don't go saying, now I know God, I do it. No, it's a matter of we do it. Genesis 11, 1 to 6. There's a story there that I want us to draw your attention. And uh, we'll be able to see why Jesus was so concerned after knowing that we have believed that he came 
from God. Let me read from verse number five. The Lord came down to see the city and the tower that the people had built. The Lord said, now these people are united, all speaking the same language. This is only the beginning of what they will do. They'll be able to do anything they want. Praise God. Those are the words I want us to pick. They are united. They are speaking with one voice, one language. There is nothing impossible. There is nothing they are not going to accomplish when they do it the way they are doing. So then, when people are united, I don't want to quote the one for <laughs> one of our politicians, but in this scripture, in the book of Genesis, eh, we've seen that these people were planning, talking, they talked the same language, and uh, God was watching and seeing them. God knew their intentions. And actually here you were saying, okay, as long as these people are still speaking the same language, whatever they plan and intend to do, there's no one who is going to stop them from accomplishing this. So then, this is another demonstration that with unity, with unity, there is enough power, there is a strength in all that you're going to do. When you are united in doing something, when you are one, when you are together, speaking the same voice, that you are pulling to this direction, it's the same direction. All the small, small forces join together, pull the same direction, you are going to achieve it. And this is what God saw and said, I must go down and see what these people are doing. Uh, we all know what happened there, but uh, if it was pleasing God, I'm sure you'd have given them a go ahead. But their intentions might have been different. Eh? But what I want us to see is the unity they had. They did not have any divided minds. Their language eh, spoke with one voice and say, okay, this is what we are going to do. This is where we are heading. And I'm sure they had timeline for what they were planning to do. And so for sure, we cannot fail to see that with unity, there's enough power, there's enough strength. Hmm? In our day-to-day -day lives, and I like uh, uh, the examples we might give because we are here in Kenya. You know, in some places you read about a lion. Lions, you know, Mbakapa, Rangau, our sister. <laughs> she knows it. You cannot go out when it is dark. Hmm? When you talk about a lion, we know what's a lion. When you talk about a gazelle, the many varieties, the many types, we know how they look like. So, uh, I want to draw your attention and give an illustration of the animals we have in our national parks, Savo, Masai Mara. We know how a gazelle looks like. We know how a giraffe looks like. We know how they live, the buffaloes. Now, as I was saying, there's, unit, there's power when you're united. And there's all that you, you need. Look at these animals in this park. They are mixed up. Uh, they are cannibals. They are herbivores inside there. And they live together. And the, and the cannibals will want their meal. These others will definitely fight back to defend themselves. So I want to take this example of, uh, we have seen the migration of the wildebeest from Masai Mara to Serengeti. There's a river, Ma Masai, is it? River Mara, they grow, eh? it's so wide. Okay. Uh, you might have, seen even in the movies, eh? Leo seen a movie, when these animals are crossing the river, 
the wildebeest, eh? not wild beast, wildebeest. They go in a large number. They go in large numbers. And in this river, there are crocodiles. In this river, there are hippos. So they are crossing. You know the size of a wildebeest. Eh? And when these cannibals and uh, like the lions and cheetahs are targeting a prey, they will always go for the weak ones. They will go for the young ones. They will go to, for those weak, hmm? which is an easy target to get hold of. Okay. So the story of crossing the river. If, and we have seen crocodiles getting hold of one, the rest are still crossing. They don't bother to see what's happening here. And when they realize one of them is not moving forward, there's something pulling back to the waters. This is a crocodile holding the leg of a wildebeest. The rest of the heart will turn back and see what's happening. Eh? You see, they are not fighting. They're looking at what has happened to this one who is no longer moving. And yet the, the root is there. The crocodile is pulling to the waters. So these others will team up and try shouting, help, in the language they understand. With that, the crocodile knows best. It will pull this helpless creature to a different battleground, the deep waters. That becomes helpless. But now, these animals who feed on grass, there is the hippo. The hippos will always be there also. And I've seen them in these movies, eh, how they behave. When they realize this uh, helpless animal is being pushed further to the deep waters and the others are remaining on the other far end, eh, they also start pushing this way for help. They team up. You have seen this one, it's helpless. They don't know this crocodile is looking for a meal. Our target corner, this other one died. So they come, push the crocodile off the waters, and eventually, you know, they scare this crocodile off. This wildebeest will take off, although limping, but has escaped the trap of the crocodile. These others were teaming up and now saying, What's happening to our colleague not moving forward? That is the unity and the defense mechanism of these helpless creatures. That is one. In the dry land, we've seen cheetahs so fast eh, running after gazelles. Eh? There's this other animal, eh? the buffaloes with big horns. Some are young, they have no horns. The female ones have small horns. When they are attacked, they will never run away. The instinct is come together. That is the defense mechanism. And the poor lion will come around and see, you know, there was a, small, a target of the young one. There was a target of a frail, weak one. But when these buffaloes come together, their instinct tells them, push yourselves together, stick together. And what I've realized is they don't bury their heads. They turn their heads to where the enemy comes from. You see they are fight, how they are fighting back. The lion will go around, look at this one, big horns. Go around, look at this other one, big horns. The lion thinks this one has kept it turning, turning. But these animals are many. They have only come together and look at this animal without any weapon. Eventually, the lion takes off. The young ones remain in the feet of the big animals safe, and now that is where their unity has come to rescue them from uh, being attacked and being prey to predators. Praise God. And about us as believers. In the book of James, we know that verse, eh? resist the devil and he will flee from you. So the buffaloes resisted the attack of a lion, and the lion flee from the attack. And so, to the crocodile, the hippos and the wildebeest resisted the attack of the crocodile, and the crocodile flee without a meal. 
Hallelujah. I want us to this earth. When we are united, we have power. When we are one, we cannot, we cannot uh, be attacked successfully by our enemy, the devil. Praise God. Believe us. That was the prayer that Jesus had for us. That God, as I go, I've done my part. May you help them remain one. May you help them remain united. I know time is against us, but uh, I want us to pick just that, that we remain united and we are safe in the hands of God. When Jesus was making this prayer, he had one thing in mind, that as the Father loved him, you remember when he was baptized, that angel in the form of a dove came and a voice from heaven saying, this is my son, whom I am pleased. So God loves his son so much. And when Jesus wanted to leave, he wanted that love from the Father to be in us, the believers, those who have believed Christ through the teachings of the disciples, through the teachings of Jesus. And when that love is in us, I might not say much now, but probably make a list of a number of things that Jesus had in mind that when I leave the disciples united, A, B, C, T will happen. When I leave those who have believed in me through the teachings of the disciples, the rest of the things will happen. So he knew that when this love is in us, the following things will happen. You may list. Number one is, we are drawn to each other with a common mission. The believers remain together. The believers will stick together, drawn together with a common mission. That is to remain strong in love, to remain safe, even if the enemy coming, roaring like a lion, and the believers are one. Did you see the way the animals were repelled by the kind of instinct reaction they had? That is how the believers will be. As long as they are together, the enemy will not be able to attack successfully. Instead, we look around and say, I'm not safe here, I take off. So that is one. We are drawn to each other. That's what Jesus knew, that when we, the love that the Father has in him remain in us, we are drawn together. And we are safe when we are together than when we are alone, rangers. Uh, we have seen the attack of the lions. Eh? The only animal I can see they can dare a strong animal to chase is the cheetah. The cheetah will dare chase one. And still, you'll, know, you'll not chase the big heart. The thing is to isolate one. I jealous see how strong that one is. The cheetah will go for it. But you see what? It is one. Targeting that one to the end. If they remain united, the cheetah will still stand and say, which one do I pick now? They remain safe when they are together. So, number two is, our differences come to an end. When believers are together, when believers are united, when believers are one, there is no Jew, there is no Gentile, there is no Philistine. That is it. We remain as believers, we remain as followers of Christ, and you see when those animals were crossing the river, the predator, the carnival, and those who were feeding on grass, the herbivores, eh? they came together. You can equate this to that one. They forgot their differences that we are hippos in the water. These ones are uh, gazelles crossing the river to the other dry land. They realize one of us is dying. What can we do? We rescue when we team up. So our differences come to an end. And for sure, uh, as we stick and remain together, the devil will flee from us. There's a spirit I notice it's called independent spirit. This is where you go as a lone ranger. And uh, with the example of the animals you have realized in the wilderness, in the, in the jungle, eh? it doesn't matter how strong you are, 
how strong the zebra is. As long as that one has taken off alone, it will be a prey to the lion. It will be a prey to the other animal. Uh, so the thing is, that kind of spirit, when we are together as believers, is broken. It cannot uh, hold water when we are together. And the enemy that was targeting us to be a prey cannot succeed. Uh, so we are strong when we are together. Another thing is, uh, there is no competition when we are together as believers. This is a body of Christ. We know without this part, we cannot function well. So all competitions end for believers. And that's what Jesus had in mind when he was saying, Father, help them remain one. Help them remain together. Help them remain united as the... They continue waiting for your coming. This I equate to, we all remember the story of Jacob and Esau? There was competition for the blessings from the father. Finally, one succeeded through crooked means. So when we are one in Christ, such competitions do not exist. Uh, one interesting one is uh, in Revelation 12.10, I want you to quote that one, the accuser of brethren. Remember there was joy in heaven when the accuser of brethren, the Satan, was thrown down. So in heaven there was joy because it has been thrown out. But he was saying, Olewenu, those in the heart, who are unto you? Because the enemy has come down with all the wrath because it has been thrown out. So this one, the Satan's accusations are prevented when we are together as Christians. Satan's accusations, accusations are stopped by all means. Remember, the accusation Satan has is, they always, the Satan will always go to the Father. That's what was explained in that uh, verse of Revelation, chapter 12, that the enemy has come down and will always go to God, reporting brethren, the accuser of brethren, that so-and-so today, so-and-so today, but when brethren are together, when believers are together as one, the story of accusations from Satan stop. Never exist. They will not succeed because God knows these are my own. This is how they live. This is how they behave. And there's no excuse. There's nothing actually Satan will have to report to the Father at all by all means. Uh, number six is our love for each other is seen in the world around us. It's clear. As believers, prayer, sharing all that we have, rejoicing in the Lord always. Even if you, de you don't tell somebody, so-and-so eh, is a Christian, so-and-so is doing what? That love that is existing in you will always be seen. And this one, uh, as written, we are actually the salt of the world. We are the light of the world. Where there is darkness, you look at the believers. Where there is, eh, they need a sweetener, become the salt of the world. And that's why the love that is in us will always be seen by the world around us. The world around us referring to those who do not know who God is, the non-believers. By so doing, the next thing is, then the lost souls begin to, to seek the love that is in us. Hmm? Did you know you are ministering to someone who is not a believer by the things you do, by the way you live, by the way you carry yourself? You are the letter written clearly all over. So the way you carry yourself, someone will say, oh, how I desire to be like so and so. Even if the person do not know what is in that person, that's why we have discipleship class here. Hmm? When the person has chosen, I want to be like so and so. You see, this is a stranger. They don't know who God is. That's when we, they will be shown the love of Christ is in this person. And so this is how to go about. And that's why you have decided to live like that person. Finally, uh, where there is unity, God commands a blessing. That's why I want us to conclude so that we may give room to the next service. Psalms 133. 
Where there is unity, God will command a blessing. And for sure, from this, when if we were divided all over, apart from being the target of the enemy, God will look at this and say, no blessing comes your way. Because it's written clearly there, as it is, that God will command an everlasting blessing where there is unity. So as believers, let's pray that we remain united, we remain as one. Even if there is corona, we keep distance, we remain one. We remain united. Even if we have heard from Pastor even currently, we have not heard water baptism. Because of COVID, let's remain united. Praise the Lord. That is the word I have for today. Doesn't matter how it has come to you, may we remember that this is Jesus praying and asking his father that I have done my part. I want them to remain united. Let the believers remain one and they will be saved in your hands. May the Lord bless you so much. Thank you for hearing what the Lord has had to prepare for us today. And indeed, may his word go as that. Shall we pray? Father in heaven, we thank you, Lord, this morning. Thank you, dear master, for your goodness. Thank you, Jehovah God, for your word that has come forth with power. You've given us an opportunity, O King of Glory, to be reminded that we need to be united. We need to be united as believers. We need to be united as a church. We need to be united as fellowships. We need to be united as a family. And when we are in this way, O King of Glory, when we are one in love, in you, Jehovah Father, the enemy will not have a chance to destroy us. The enemy will not have a chance to attack us successfully, O oh God. Because when we resist, when we are in one accord, O oh King of Glory, the enemy will flee from us. Jehovah Father, we thank you and we give you glory, we give you honor this morning. May your will be done, O oh Jehovah Father, that any other opportunity we get, O oh King of Glory, to hear your word, we will not spare or waste time, but get hold of it and have it Dwell in our lives and grow and have it, O King of Glory. Drive us that, Jehovah Father, we may remain strong in you, safe in your hands. We give you glory, we give you honor. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, so uh, that is where we are as a church. We are still sharing about our conviction that we believe we should be one. And especially, we are getting to 2022. And we are sure all the political parties are represented here. The Tanga Tanga are here. The Kileweke, the Waipa, the ANC. I would ask you to raise up your hand and uh, identify yourself. But uh, we know we are here, but that should not divide us. Of course, our prayer is, may the Lord lead us where he is. And uh, those are small things that should not divide us. We are a family. Our vision is to be a family church, and we should do whatever we can to remain together. Our family stands with one another. Our family celebrates one another. Our family stands for one another, and that is our strength. Thank you, Deacon Coach. Yeah, perhaps uh, we don't know much about Coach. Coach is uh, the chairman of our deacons board. And the deacons in this church, they are our custodians. Everything that we have as a church is uh, under their care. They take care of our offering. They take care of our church property. And they are doing a good job. May we appreciate our deacons. Thank you, Coach, and your team. So we have come to the end of the service. Thank you so much. Today we have stretched a bit and we are blessed by the message. I pray that the Lord bless you. May your week be wonderful. May the Lord give you every need that you have. This is a moment now to give to the Lord. Uh, in this church we also believe in uh, serving the Lord with our blessings because we believe whatever we have has come from him. So maybe you need to give your tithe, you need to pay your tithe, you need to give your offering. Those who need envelopes, the ashes are nearer to you. You can pick one as we prepare to give. The praise team are taking their position. 
And uh, so let us do that as quickly as possible so that we may release you and receive the, the last service members who are already there waiting to get in. Let us stand on our feet kindly and let us pray before we part company. Lord, we are so much blessed to be in your presence, for in your presence there is fullness of joy. Where your spirit is, there is liberty. Lord, we are thankful that you have given us a chance to give unto you. We recognize that you are our, the giver of every good thing. And whatever we have has come from you. We are going to give you a portion of the same as a sign of honor. Lord, may you receive our sacrifice. May you continually bless us so that we may have more to give you and the more to serve ourselves and to serve those around us. Father, bless us with good health. Bless us with the peace. Bless our water. Bless our bread. Bless our days. Bless our children. Bless our families. This we pray in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord turn his face towards you. May he give you peace. May you enjoy his grace. May it go well with you. Jehovah Shalom richly bless you. Thank you.